Hello everyone and welcome back to a WWE Champions video. Today we're doing a Ricky Steamboat video. I got a little bit of footage for you guys from the trial that I'm going to show. And I have a little clip here of me doing it. And don't worry, I have an actual, after this um, match, I have an actual full match. I'll show you all the trainers and coaches. But I really wanted to show off Ricky. And I was supposed to put this, I was going to put this out Sunday, but... Um, they changed Ricky, and this is Ricky's changed one, so I wanted to really um, do a video on that and why it's really good to use him. Even at 5-star, he's good. And then I have, uh, later in the video, we're going to talk about a 6-star set that you got to see. It's fantastic. Um, me and Marix came up with it. It's great. So you guys have to see that. Um, now this, I will say, is already not turn 1. So just keep that in mind. Not turn one. We can make it turn one, I think. But it won't be a turn one set. But yeah, so here. This is Corpse Catapult and the... um, Which one is, what is this called? Dragon's Descent. The Dragon's Descent. Both traps are going to hit twice the same turn. And we're doing a swipe. So here, it's going to do insane damage. Insane damage. And this is five bronze, no medals. If you had medals, a strap, a plate, it's even easier. We can you can make it turn one. And here it goes. Look at that board filled with purple. Two million at five bronze. That's pretty good for five bronze, I think. And uh yeah, Mark is not gonna kick out. Six star they will kick out, but if you take your Ricky six star, well, no problem. And we'll show you that soon enough. But let's actually go to my real set here. So here's my real set of Ricky. Obviously, this is what we're running. This is what we're running as well. You would not need Dusty if you had, um, I think it's Trickster Lacey. Um, and a rock is cooking plate. I'm pretty sure you would be fine. So keep that in mind too. Um, belt plate make it a lot easier. And if you had Lacey Trickster, I don't have Lacey Trickster, and that kind of sucks. And if you had, um, Fire Breather, you can make those purple traps do uh, the, the ones that do bones for traps do even more damage. So here you go. Um, yeah, you can see it's not turn one at all. But, like, here you go, I'm making my wild card. And making sure here I have a red match to swipe into. So here, if you had a rocket's cooking plate, you would get plus three purple. And then you would swipe that red. And then you would have three more purple. You'd have it again. Um, obviously with this though, I don't think you would get the red move. But here, I just take a purple because I want to get that. And that's why I have Dusty on. Just to make sure I get it. And then we take a blue. So, yeah. Obviously, it's not turn one. But if you have the stuff, you'll have it uh, turn one. And here we go. We're going to choose those reds again. Devil got to manipulate the board with Ricky, though. That's a big thing with Ricky. So here, making another wild card. And you wouldn't even need Hoff Lita if you have him at 5 gold. Um, you wouldn't even need Hoff Lita for it. But here you go. Um, Corpse Catapult hitting again. And there we go. Dragon's Descent hit again. I'm so happy they made this a choose as well. This like is so much better as a choose. 
And now we're going to make the whole board basically into purple. There it went. Two point two million. I mean, yeah, five star. Even at five star bronze, you get medals on that. We could probably hit three, maybe even four. So don't count Ricky out at five star. But six star is definitely the way you want to go. So now you're gonna see Merrick's video Monday with Merrick's, um, some highlights that I have recorded. Uh, if you want to see the full thing, go watch it on Twitch. It's great. He answers a lot of questions that people have. And go join uh, Mondays with Merrick's every Monday. It's a great thing to do. But um, so here we, we're talking about a six star set here. And then I'm going to start chatting. And you'll hear me because he says Kyle sometimes. Um, we start. I start chatting about the set I think we should run. Because this is right now what they thought was the best. Turn one. You can do a swipe. Um, and then try and pin them with just the t one set of traps each, and then they would hopefully lose all his health, and he would basically heal us and drain all his health. It was a, still a good set, however, I just made it better. And he didn't even... Wow. Okay, so that was what, like 6 million drain on himself there? Whew. I need commas. One, two, three. One, two. Wow. Yeah. So you could, um, like, yeah. So if you have 17k Santa. So what he's talking about right now is I gave him a feud set that he, he'll, he'll kind of tell you. I did say uh, a different coach. However, he doesn't have fire breather just like me. And X-Pac actually is the way to go anyway. Um, so this, was the, and this is the best build that we figured out. It's great. You're going to love it. Um, but that is what he's talking about is I am telling him about the set and that's what he was reading well so ko could overwrite some of the traps but um he like he can't do the whole board so he wouldn't overwrite all of them it would be super interesting though and then if he blew up the board then he would catch all of it uh kyle i think you might be onto something there so basically what i told him was i think we can hit both traps twice on turn one um that he can do defensively or offensively however i didn't think of defensively i said you can just swap it like swipe a gem make all the purple and all those traps would do so much um but he actually starts with the defensive which i actually am really glad that he does because i didn't even think about it um uh so yeah santa hogan 17k but also he does a set very similar that works the exact same does the exact same kind of thing that you also need to watch that doesn't even need it so merrick's very smart knows what he's doing i'm just giving him that jump start of this set idea that we can do traps both times twice in turn one that's ridiculous Uh, yeah, or not say we missed the OP build because it wasn't there, and when we asked, remember there was no no response to the OP build that we missed. Uh, Yumi and Gersan all mentioned it. So... Right? And yeah, this was six stars, so we couldn't have had it. <laughs> okay. I... Man. 
Uh, if you did have 17k Santa, like Kyle just said, um... Charge. That's five MP though. So we get one for our turn. One is two and Yep. Yep. They're eight though. Four. Oops, so four, five, six, seven. Yep, that works. He did his math right. Good job, Kyle. I was calling you into question for a second. Your math is good. Why, thank you, Merrix. At least my days in school have paid off. And even, you might even see a smirk on his face right after. Uh, I'm pretty sure Goldie said, don't doubt, Kyle. Thank you, Goldie, for that, too. Um, all right, let's move on now. Or turn one in feud. Uh, but basically, you can afford to take gender off because you're going to refill your crap, like Kyle said. And if they take away matchy-match perks, uh, you would run X-Pac here or Hollywood Hogan if they take away a matchy-match. Actually... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Yes? You don't even... Wait, you don't even need to do that. I... Holy cow. Just wait. Just wait. Check this. So basically what Merrick's is going to do now and what he's trying to say is you can do this without Santa Hogan and... Um, with this set, keep in mind, he would take away, um, you can actually run this differently with the double MP. I didn't even realize that. Pretty sure you can take, uh, Stainer Butch off and actually put Ginger on. But let's see how this does now. So, okay, check this. So red's not full, right? We're going to say red's not full. We got X-Pac in. Uh, we're still going to use gender. So what you would do is do a three match to fill your red. Have a five match to bail you out just in case and you'll see what I'm... Yes. No. Yes. So even if you don't have Santa Hogan... You could theoretically do it this way. So for all of you without Santa, um, you just need to land one on the five match. You would not want... This is choose, so you can put this out. And then you just need to not cascade, but you could double it up with gender, so we'd have three more uh, traps as well. So... Um, if you don't have Santa, you can still do it turn one. We're gonna swipe with you so it falls. You would want X-Pac on, though. And the best part about doing it this way is you actually are going to get them to pin. You're going to get them pinned right away. Doing it this way. Now, you might cascade early sometimes, but we've already established that's not the end of the world. <laughs> At all. Uh, I don't remember what I put where. Crap. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, 
was great. Oh, that was great. I don't know why he didn't, um, he was out of life, so why did he kick out? All right, I'm going to just uh, clarify. Um, the reason why John actually kicked out was because even though we actually put him in danger, he did the swipe that that actually killed him. However, the swipe instantly makes the kick out go to zero, which means he's still technically kicked out because he got to zero before he got into danger. So that's just to clarify, that's why he kicked out. That's funny. This is great. I love this card. Uh... Oh man, this is fantastic. Okay. So yeah, even if you don't have 17k Santa, you still can. 17k Santa would be much simpler. But still very doable. The other thing... Um, with the 17k Santa, uh, that just occurred to me because you do so much, so much damage when you break crap. So, um, yeah, it would be this and this. I was just going to say that Kyle, because with all the traps, then you blow up the board instead and you're probably going to win turn one. We don't have a health pool that we need, but I think it's going to be ridiculous damage. We can count the traps on the board, um, and they all basically do the same. I would like to also clarify there that what he means by health pool is that we don't have a six star that we can fight against because the traps are going to kill um, a five gold easily. If we had a six star, then we could see the health pool. Um, but we can't so but we can just estimate and just calculate um, how much it does So that's not that big of a deal right now Like There well, we'll see this is ridiculous too uh, This would be X-Pac if you don't have Steamboat. And, doo -doo -doo -doo. and this is again assuming 17k Santa now. Back to that because I want to do this thing. Hey, whatever, X-Pac, we don't need it right now. We don't care, X-Pac. Uh, Evo, have you, how much of this have you seen? So, just by throwing the traps out, Cena breaking one row, uh, put himself negative 1.9 million health. And healed us while he did it. So, everyone that doesn't cover the board, your traps, and blows up the board, is gonna kill themselves basically, or half their life, and just heal you. You, so instead of breaking um, these trap gems, also with this setup, you have 17k Santa. Uh, check what ha what this does. Watch this. It refills itself. And this is actually the part where I actually found out how to make those traps go out twice. Um, was the idea 
of that Game 3 blue. Um, if you haven't seen my Austin Theory video, I did a very similar set, which I'm pretty sure I thought of. I know Sir Zoro eventually did it, but I know I put it out before him. So I don't know if I figured it out or if someone else did before me, but whatever. I technically came up with the idea of uh, having Theory where he keep breaking because the, the black move that choose purple, it, uh, it, and you can have those traps that gain black and you keep hitting the bleeding and keep doing it over and over. That was the idea behind um, this set. And that's how we got from, that's how I got from this to, hey, we can actually hit both traps twice. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that Austin 3 video, though, you definitely should if you have them. Because even though Ricky might be a tad bit better, I still consider th Theory be top three even. I think maybe he's like right around Ricky, maybe a little lower. I don't know. That bleed at six star I know gets so high. So, but yeah, that's kind of the inspiration of and how I figured out how we can make uh, Ricky hit hard. So, never gonna have a... <laughs> uh, you don't even need to do a five match. I just started thinking about that. You don't even need to do a five match. So that's why I was like, hold on, hold on. Don't even need a five match. So now you have the option of blowing up the board or uh, letting him kill himself. That does, that's the gem damage. That's not all the trap damage. Those traps are about 180k a piece, and we had 40 plus out there. So that's probably the best. That's probably like 8 million, right? 180k times 40 trap gems. And that, my friends, is the excitement of a man who just found the best set for a character. And how we figured out how to make a character that a lot of people didn't know if he would be great or top tier become an absolute monster. I said I think he's the second best trickster besides Umaga. And um, if I'm not mistaken, weren't you trying to help Goldie uh, come up with some good movesets for him and couldn't? Well... Just, just full disclosure. I don't remember who he was, who said that, and who we were he was talking to, but that man just ended that man's career. Merrick's just, just, just destroyed him. How they sat there with Goldie trying to figure out sets, and then I just come into the chat and say, "Hey, you do this, and we can hit the traps twice, and then we just murder them." And now he's a top trickster. He's the second best in the entire game. Hey, cereal bagger. So this is going to be how many trap gems? What do we got? 40... Um... Mm, a lot. A lot. A lot.
Good night. And then whatever millions. So what? Uh, man. Yeah. There. There's no. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. There's. That's way. Uh, to be fair, though. Better than it looks on paper. Because, uh, how long did it take to figure out that you could get two sets of those traps out? And Kyle, uh, maybe don't even get there without Kyle's help. And he's like, try this, and then we just tried this, and now you got a whole board full of traps. So, like, it's evolved since we started. And that statement right there made my entire week maybe even entire year, that statement of how we may have never gotten to figure out that Ricky could do that if it wasn't for me saying something. And I really wish I could be a content creator because I feel like I could do these sets and I feel like I would just sit there for hours trying to figure out if there's anything better. But nonetheless, I, uh, I can't do that, uh, unfortunately, right now. So... But man, that what he said right there, that was just wow. Speechless. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, as always. And um, again, go check out Merrick's streams. This one to see the full one. Absolute blast working with him, talking to him about some sets that we could do. Um, I'm really hoping I can also help him in the future. I'll definitely have to keep joining in and making sure some stuff is happening. Um, also, if Merrix does not like that I'm stealing his content, technically and put it in a video, I will take it down if he wants me to. But I do know with streams that they uh, can go away within like a month. So I want to just make sure that people do know that Ricky is top. You should take him up. He's second best trick in the game. Um, obviously, if Merrix wants me to take this part down, I will take it down and we'll just have my trial part. But uh, again, uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.